bit here. Um, what I would add is that it's a, in terms of my experience with the program, it's been a very reliable program and the bottom line is that you make as much money with it as you put effort into it. So, uh, very directly proportional. Um, I didn't want to interrupt you. Yeah, uh, thank you for not interrupting, Kathy. That uh, is yeah, that's hard for me. I want to say first of all to those that are new in here with us that, like Don said, this definitely is a legit work from home business, and it does work. And I can say that because from the first month. I've gotten a check every month. I've not had a month I've not had a check. So the first month I know I made a little over 100 and I got my check and almost immediately after that I doubled. I went to like 300 the next month and and it's growing. And whether you're looking to make just an, an additional 100 a month to supplement, um, whether it's disability you're on or just income that you have already, or if you're looking to make three or 400, if you're looking to make 700, you can do it. And I say that because I have done that. I want to tell you guys, my shop, my car was in the shop last week. That's never fun. I put that off as long as I could. And I had to get it in the shop. I thought it was just going to simply need a new muffler. It wasn't. I needed the whole catalytic converter exhaust system and it was not cheap. And I'm going to tell you that my disability check was not going to help with that, with the other small issues that I had, you know, just regular monthly bills. So my my car payment, my car bill, I'm sorry, came to $644 to get that fixed and an oil change and state inspection. And luckily I had made a check last month for a little over $700. And I was glad that I had that because that took care of my car. So I mean, you know, you're always going to have unexpected things come up. And it's great to have this extra money even put aside if you don't need it immediately. But um, if you are somewhat of a people person and have some decent communication skills, and if you're a self-starter, you don't need someone holding your hand and looking over your shoulder when you do your work, um, I would say if you can follow directions fairly well, easy, simple directions, then I think this might be for you. Um, you're going to have great support. Like Brian mentioned, we have our own Facebook page for the report, referral partner program. So there's great support on there. And you need to be a team player because we do work individually, but we're, we are a team and we do support each other. So any questions that you would have or comments or new avenues you want to try, then, you know, talk to us about it and, or try it out for yourself. And it's just good supplemental income. And Brian showed you there the back office. He provides that awesome back office for us free, no charge to us, where you can track your commissions and see what you're making and you can see what's working for you, maybe what's not working so well, so you can adjust your, your plan. And I, I always say this too, but Brian already said it. If you can plan your work for the day or for the week, whatever, how many hours you want to try to do this, and then work that plan, it will work for you. Uh, there's almost no way that it won't. We all have our own individual ways that we feel successful doing it, but yet there are some ways that we have found to be really successful. So, um, Kathy, can I yeah. interrupt you there? Of course. Yeah, yeah uh, I just want to say that, uh, you know, watching you work, you s have set a really stellar example of uh, how to do it, and what I've noticed in what you're doing is that you're being very helpful to people. You know, you're not selling anything. Right. You're just you're just there being helpful to uh, people that are looking for ways of getting their SSDI. Exactly. Yeah. So you're there. You're you're a resource for them, and uh, you you help them. You actually hold them by the hand. You take yeah. them from wherever you find them, you know, mm -hmm. let's say it's a Facebook group, you take them right. by the hand to the Disability Digest and right. uh, like you're providing that, that personal service to them. Mm -hmm. So I think that that's, uh, that's a really uh, a great example to follow for anyone who wants to get into it. Thank you. Well, I, I, mean, I know you and Don and Tammy and Brian have heard this before, but I had to quit working in 2010. I did it as long as I possibly could, and between the fibromyalgia and high blood pressure, heart issues, 
I just I knew it was time to quit. Um, unfortunately, I waited three years before I filed for disability. And folks, let me tell you, if you need disability, don't put it off. You need to do it sooner than I did. But I lost a lot of money by doing that. But I have a big caregiving background. I have been a caregiver many years off and on and companion for hospice patients and elderly. And when I quit working, I really wasn't sure what to do with myself. And I found in a very short time, this must be what retirement feels like. And I don't think I like it as well as I thought I would. And I really felt like I had lost my purpose. Kids are grown and gone. You know, what, is, what am I going to do? So when I started doing this, I found that this really filled that void that I had. And like Dawn said, I was helping other people too. And I totally enjoy that. Now I have to back up and tell you. When I got, and I was one of the few that, one of those that Brian mentioned that got my disability very fast with Disability Digest last year. I applied first try and got it three months later. And I was in shock. And I immediately, just like if you see a good movie and you tell all your friends about it, I wanted people to hear about this group. So I started telling all my friends or anybody I knew that might need disability and sending them to Brian. And I knew nothing about any kind of a program like this. And then in April, early April, I think it was this year, Brian called me and he said, Kathy, um, first of all, I congratulate you on getting your disability so quickly. And we hear that you're referring people to us and I want to pay you for doing that. I'm like, really? Because <laughs> I have been doing it anyway for a year, I'm sure. So it, it's, it, like I say, you really need to have a, per, a goal to work and make income, but if you do have that caring passion to help people in that background, that's definitely going to come through too, and it, it really does for me. I love what I'm doing. I get up and I have a purpose to get my day started, not just stay in bed in pain all day with fibromyalgia. So.